Good morning, Draper Patriots. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, Patriots. I am Miss Maxie. This is Sweet Gracie. Do y'all know Gracie? Say hi. Hi. Hey. So I am here with Gracie because we're here to support a really important cause, aren't we? Yeah. Totally. Okay. So right now, through April 18th, we're doing the Pennies for Patients. And what the Pennies for Patients does is it helps support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So we need your help to raise as much money as we can to get this going. So, but I thought we have a very special guest who could kind of tell us a little bit what it's like to have leukemia and kind of some of the stuff you're going through. Does that sound good, Gracie? Yes. Sound good? Okay. So, Gracie, tell us about when you were diagnosed. I was diagnosed December 11th, 2017 when I was in fifth grade. What was the hardest part about having leukemia or having cancer? Um, the hardest part was missing school and staying in the hospital a lot. Definitely. So how long were you out of school? For like half the year. 
So for half the year you had to miss school, that was probably pretty big and you missed all your friends and just the experiences that you get to have when you come to school, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now let me ask you this, because you said you had to stay at the hospital a lot though. Were you treated well? Did yeah. your doctors and everybody was really good to you? Yes. Had some amazing nurses and doctors? Mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. Okay, so my next question that I had is, um, what is something that you learned from having leukemia? Or maybe one good thing that's kind of come out of it that you've learned or just something that you've learned from going through this experience? That people really, really care for me. Oh, that is amazing because we do care for you, don't we? Yes. So that's kind of a big thing when you go through something this big is you realize, you know, just all the support you have, your family, your doctor and your friends. So there is a few good things that can come out of having leukemia, huh? Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, next question is, what is the number one question that you get asked? They ask me um, if it's hard. If it's hard, yeah. What, what's your answer to that? My answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard, of course it is. But you are a survivor and you are a trooper and you are strong, aren't you? Or do you let me ask you this, because we talked yesterday about this. Do you feel stronger now than you did before? Yes. Kind of like you can do anything now, huh? Yeah. You're a rock star. I'm so proud of you. If you could give a message to anybody who is maybe just diagnosed with leukemia or who is maybe going through it, what would you tell them? I would tell them that it's going to be okay and that they have to stay strong and everything's just going to be okay. Love it. That's me. I'm here with Gracie, Miss Maxie. We again are just here because we want to raise as much money as we can for such a great cause. Would you agree with that? Yes. So tell everybody to bring their money. You tell them. Bring your money. <laughs> bring as much money as you can and thank you.